and welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's High School Football Previews, and we are pleased to be joined by the Crookston football team down in Ohio. I'm joined by head coach Casey Valley. Um, how's it going, Case? Uh, it's going good. Um, down here in Crooksville in, uh, you know, southern Perry County. Um, maybe just a little distraction going on because I think we're the only uh, county that's having a fair right now that's going on. But uh, other than that, things are good with uh, – Things are good with the with the team, and um, you know we're hoping everything works out. All right, um, let's talk about who the the players are that you brought in, and I just let one in. Yeah, uh, Lane just came in. Lane's a senior this year, uh, offensive lineman, defensive lineman. Um, you know he's he's played for us in the past. We expect him to be one of our leaders. Uh, Thomas Thomas Russell is a uh, senior. Wide receiver, uh, defensive guy we haven't discovered yet. Um, somewhere over there he's going to have to help. Um, he had a nice season last year. And then um, Ethan Sprankle, who's a junior, uh, he started a corner for us as a sophomore last year. Um, I don't know. He's, uh, he's put some serious pounds on in the uh, weight room. So he's going to be up around the ball a little more. Um, so these are three. These are three guys that we're gonna have to use and have to have to get some uh, good effort out for us to be successful. All right. Um, I know you guys have been. Uh, I know you guys have been doing been very busy during the pandemic. I know that you guys have been back um, for a few weeks now, and practice starts. I think in the next week. How are you guys handling all that? <laughs> Whoever wants to take this one. Uh, well, I'll, I'll take this one. Um, it's been kind of, it's been kind of crazy. It's been kind of wild because it, we're not used to that. We're not used to the whole pandemic thing being shut out of school, being uh, away from our team members and away from lifting. So it kind of, it put a dent in our progress there for a minute. But we did a pretty good job of like working at home and sending workouts in for in the coaches to stay on top of our game and at least help the help from declining and at least just maintaining where we were at. <clears throat> and Lane, I know that you're, I know you're a senior on this team this year. Um, what kind of, what has this process been like for you as uh, you get prepared for your senior year? Um, it's been pretty hard with this whole quarantine, but I've been working out, running, getting into <clears throat> football and it's pretty good overall. Yeah. And Ethan, I know you've got some time at corner this year as a junior. What, how have you prepared for the? How have you prepared for this season, um, knowing that you can't really meet up with any of your teammates? Uh, I've been just <coughs> lifting at my place just as much as I can, and going out and doing footwork drills and playing pass in the yard with my dad and stuff, just to stay active and try to keep up with. Just my progress. Yeah, coach. I know you. I know. Um, uh, I know it starts in a few weeks. I know the um, with football starting on August first. What is <coughs> what has it been like, and what are the precautions that you guys have taken um, as workouts begin and possibly full team practices begin as we get, as we get set and do uh, get ready for the season? Uh, I I mean, like like Thomas said, you know, we we haven't had anything. Nobody in the world's ever had to do something like this. Um, these guys though, I mean, I'll say they've been amazing. Um, you know, we, you know, we, we were one of the first teams in the state to sell the mask. Uh, you know, our, our guy hooked right, hooked, got right on us. So, you know, we took pre precaution, um, safe, uh, safe face. Um, they hooked us up. We, we didn't know, you know, how the mask would sell. Boom. They sold like that for, you know, we had a thousand, <clears throat> um, but our, our first was safety for our kids. So that, that was my first thing. Let's, you know, we got 40 kids. We have, you know, seven, eight coaches. We got a junior high program. Let's make sure these kids get masks on them because we're going to need them. You know, that was in March. And, uh, you know, we, we wear them, but it's hard sometimes in the weight room to wear them uh, when you're outside running sprints, stuff like that. You know, we, we don't do that. But when we need to wear them, we wear them. And when they come into school, there's a whole table set up, you know, with sanitizer, stuff that we've never thought about. Uh, everybody's got to get temperature. Um, 
the weight room every every time that you know we we lift in groups and every time that group leaves the weights get wiped down I mean, we're doing everything that that they ask us to do and i mean it, it's really been good um you know the, i mean it's, some of it's hard you got to tell kids to bring their own water their own gatorade you know, there's no water fountains at school no locker rooms you can use um but but the, i mean these guys have been great and uh you know we're supposed to have a seven on seven this saturday um like four teams one coming from out of state it's all been canceled uh, we're still going to seven on seven and, you know, we'll have some parents in the crowd and, you know, it'll be, you know, it, it'll be all right because we have enough talented kids to, to split up and we're going to, you know, we have some serious competitions going on. So, um, I mean, the kids are excited about that and, you know, we're doing the best we can. We have, we have our camp week coming up. All of our coaches will be there uh, next week and certain stuff. So, I mean, we're, we're going forward just like, like anything, just we have some small changes we have to get through, but um, you know, great group of kids, parents help out, stuff like that makes things easier for myself. It's always good to have that. And uh -huh. know that the season did not go as well as you wanted to last year. What, with everything going on with the pandemic, what, what, what is this season going to be like if it happens? Well, there's a, you know. <laughs> We, we've had discussion. You know, I, I did an interview right when the pandemic came down. And, um, you know, Crook, Crooksville is the definite smallest school in a huge league. Uh, the MVL is a pretty daggone good league. And, you know, last year there was a lot of buildup. Um, you know, we had a lot of seniors that these guys have played with. Um, you know, our quarterback was returning from a year off. Uh, you know, he had tore his ACL, so the newspapers had, you know, plastered him on the front page. It was 100 years of football at Crooksville. There was a lot of, you know, me and you doing this right now with these guys. I think it's the second interview we've done. Last year, we were probably on interview 15 with media. I mean, it was like – and they can agree. They were there like every other day. And now, you know, those seniors left with high expectations – these guys are kind of left in the wings. Well, you know, these guys are busting their tails and, you know, we're still the small guy in the league, but now we don't have to play Sheridan. We don't have to play Chai Valley because, you know, the division split. So this, you know, what we're going, this is a great opportunity for these guys to get us back on track. Crooksville is a huge football tradition town. Uh, 16 years without playoffs. People aren't getting happy around this place. And, you know, if, if they could come out and watch these guys work, and we don't make the playoffs, they'll understand they're still busting their asses that we just can't get to week 11. But, you know, these guys are going to put us in position. We'll be fine. Um, like I said, less pressure, I would say. I mean, Thomas and Lane and Ethan probably all say that. Um, but, I mean, me, speaking for these guys, physically and mentally more prepared than last year at this point. Hey, Coach, thank you so much for joining us. And, uh, and players, thank you, thank you as well. And I hope you guys stay safe and uh, uh, hope you guys do get, a, get a, a season as well. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank Not you. No problem. Thanks.